Hi, I'm Mike Elliott, and you're watching the CEO Live Investor Profile Series. In this episode, we're talking to Dr. Bassam Dimaj. He's the president and CEO of Anovis Pharmaceuticals. Headquartered in San Diego, Anovis Pharma is an emerging leader in OTC and consumer products for men's and women's health and vitality. They're a publicly traded company that listed on the OTCQB under ticker INNV. Good morning, Bassam. Thanks for joining us again. Good morning, Mike. Happy to be here again. For those investors not yet familiar with Innovus, please give us a brief overview of the company. Sure, happy to. As, as you said, uh, Innovus Pharma uh, will be becoming the leader in over-the-counter and consumer care products um, for men's health, women's health, vitality, and respiratory diseases. So we've been really uh, um, working on getting the company into the commercial stage, which we have been successfully doing for two years in a row and moving towards our uh, cash flow positive and turning the corner to profitability. We have 13 products that are commercialized in multiple countries now uh, that are making uh, money for, uh, for the company. Um, and, and those products are really in, in, in niche areas where uh, every product we put out there is becoming a leader in that specific uh, 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 therapeutic uh, areas. Uh, we've been growing by um, acquiring acquiring products that are revenue generating and licensing products that we see good market uh, potential and uh, so forth. We've acquired three companies. The latest acquisition is the Beyond the Human uh, Assets, which sell the which, which have the first one, uh, the, the number one selling uh, testosterone uh, natural booster uh, uh, online. So we've been actually growing quite fast. Uh, and, and, and moving really, and I stress here again, to the commercial stage of revenue generate, generation, uh, turning to cash flow positive and, and hopefully turning to profitability soon. And what have been the primary drivers of your recent revenue growth in the last year, and how is your over-the-counter drug Zestra performing in the FSD market and ejectolay for premature ejaculation? So when we uh, started to be commercial, we acquired some free labs. So Zestra is the main uh, consumer care products that we acquired for the female sexual dysfunction market. It, it is really the only product that has two double-blind placebo-controlled trials as a consumer care product in 278 women that have shown high clinical efficacy uh, for those patients in arousal and desire. And that has been the primary driver for the revenues and in, in, in the company, the product is available in the retail store in the U.S., Walmart, Kroger, and so forth. And we've been successful into introducing it into multiple markets, in, including Canada, uh, North Africa, uh, the Gulf, and 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 the United Kingdom, and and so forth. And every market we introduced it, the product became the number one selling product for that category. Then we had Jack Delay, which have started to take in actually a big. Uh, 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 place in, in our revenue where, you know, we had a, in addition to the U.S., we've had a great, actually, market penetration in Canada for our partner, Olimat, and that has been going very well, and we're pushing towards other markets um, uh, across the world. Now, the biggest, actually, um, uh, revenue driver for us is that this year is going to be the acquisition of the Beyond the Human Assets. I mean, they have um, seven products that they sell just online, including the number one selling human testosterone natural booster online in, in the U.S., which is called the Beyond T Human Testosterone Booster. And that actually, uh, as you know, the company did $2.2 million in, in revenue. is very profitable just from selling that, that product online. So now that product is out in our portfolio, and we are starting to recognize revenues from that product. So that will be a big, big driver for us in addition to what we are doing and this is why we are projecting, projecting that we will exit this year doing between 3 to $5 million of revenue, exiting cash flow operation positive, and hopefully turning the corner next year towards profitability of, of the company. And in, in addition to growing revenues, Innovus announced a lot of partners. Uh, and from your public filings, it seems that the company does a good amount of revenue from it, uh, ex-U.S. sales. Can you share with us your strategy outside the U.S. and who your partners with and in which countries uh, you're partnered and, and where those products are sold? Sure. So, so our strategy outside the U.S. is to find strong local partners that are well established within the, um, the medical community and they have a good, strong sales force that they can go and promote our products there. So we have partners now in, in 60 countries 
Uh, we have a total of 10 partners, including uh, uh, Oriman in Canada. We have uh, our partner, uh, Tromodium in the UK. We have Biotask in Malaysia. We have Sotima in the East North Africa. We have Tabuk Pharma, which is the, the fourth largest uh, company in Saudi Arabia for, for the Gulf. We have Alice Pharma in Turkey. So we have actually a multitude in, 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 uh, uh, of, of uh, partners all over the world in 60 countries. And we've been very successful in getting approval in several of those countries so far and recognizing revenues. Give you an example, uh, 20, 2014, uh, a little bit, 40% of our revenues came from XUS. Uh, 2013, we haven't put our, our financials out there. But we expect to be, you know, also in the 30, 30 percent range out there. And the, and the more we, we continue, the more our XUS sales will grow due to the approvals that we are expecting uh, this year, actually, from 12 markets. So that will be a big, big boost to our, to our revenues. And Bassam, I just want to paint a picture here for investors uh, for a minute. Uh, you know, what is, uh, if you had to put a number on the total addressable market worldwide for male and female uh, FF, was sexual dysfunction market, what would that number be, ballpark? I mean, listen, we, we, we are really target what we call a large market, right? So the female sexual dysfunction market is a billion dollar market. The male market is the current two billion dollar market. If you're taking testosterone and you're taking the inject delay market, the market of fluid care, our respiratory actually uh, uh, competitor of uh, of uh, of Flonase from from GSK is a billion dollar market. So we are really targeting close to four billion dollars out there. That that we're we're gonna we're gonna go out there and we're aggressively going out there to take as much market share as we can from those products. So so there is a huge place for 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 newcomers into the market, for for multiple products in the market. We're gonna grab as much. Uh, uh, revenue as we can from from those those uh, products. And you also announced recently that you've launched uh, Androferti in the U.S. and you filed a product license with Health Canada for that product. What can you tell us about that? So the the IVF the in vitro fertilization market in the U.S. In the US is a very uh, um, uh, nice and large market, estimated to be about a couple of billion dollars. In here, and the most of the infertility comes from the male side, and there are no really treatments for that. Uh, and and people have been using a lot of supplements based mainly on trials done on ingredients like the L carnitine, like Proxy Plus, Fertile One, where all the claims are best. Listen, listen. Some studies were done on the ingredients, so you should try it to, you know what I mean, and see if it works for you. So we have actually licensed this product called Androferti from Q Pharma in Spain. And Androferti is the only product that is a supplement that has been clinically tested in five clinical trials, and they're all published trials and in peer-reviewed journals. So the product has performed extremely well in a statistical manner and actually increasing the number of sperms in the male over a period of three to six months, the motility of the sperm and protecting the sperm from degradation. So there is an, a more sperm going into the axe to fertilize the axe. So we were very lucky to be able to license exclusive rights to that product in the US and Canada. And, and now actually we just launched the product yesterday in the US. That is a big launch for us. You know, there are only 625 IVF clinics in the US. So it is a matter of two, three months, and we're covering every clinic in the United States. Uh, so that is really nice market for us. In Canada, we were able to license it to our partner, Orimed, who they already have filed the product license in Canada. And Canada is going to be an NPN, which means it will have a claim and an indication. And that will be the only product that would have such a claim because of the strong clinical trials. So we expect Canada to be also a big, big, big market for us. It's a process that takes six months, but we are confident we'll receive probably the approval ahead of the six months from Health Canada, as we have been very successful in getting our products approved in Canada. And that will be our fourth product approved, actually, once we if we receive the approval from Health Canada. So we're very excited about this product. We expect to do millions of dollars of this product if and when we reach all the uh, the U.S. Uh, market and IVF clinics in the U.S. And a last question. Can you share with us your plans for uh, uplisting to a higher exchange? As I know you mentioned this a few times during your releases and uh, your investor presentation. Definitely, definitely. I mean, listen, we, we started this company, you know, three years ago. I came on board, as you know, from, from, from Applicus Biosciences, took it from 37 cents all the way to $6 a share. So I know those markets very well. 
you know, the, the, the rules and regulations have changed quite a bit for the bulletin board companies. So, and again, as you can see, you know, we are trading at, at six cents a share, you know, at the valuation, which is even below, our market cap is below our assets, which is something that's unheard of. We generate revenues, we're gonna be cash flow positive soon. So it, it really doesn't make sense for us to stay on the bullet on the QB market anymore. So we have already actually started the process to be able to uplift to the New York Stock Exchange or to, to, to the NASDAQ. And again, as, as you know, you know, with, with filing our, our 10K uh, at March 31st, we no longer actually will be required to trade at $3 a share, you know, for 30 days out of six days, we can just file the application and if we're trading immediately at three dollars, we have the right to uplist having the proper uh, owners' uh, uh, equity in the company. So we've started this process actually already, and we are preparing uh, to to really uplist hopefully this year to a higher exchange and be really out there with the proper coverage, with the proper uh, you know uh, market makers, and get the proper valuation of the company and and have a proper uh, uh, share price that really actually uh, correlates with what the company is doing, with the assets that we have, with the revenues that we are doing, the strong revenues that we are doing. And Basam, that's all the questions I had for today. What else do investors need to know right now about Innovus Pharmaceuticals? So, so for the investors, what I always say to the investors, listen, this is a company where in a short period of time, we were able to have an extensive and you know, strong product portfolio, commercial product portfolio. We have been consistently generating revenues for two years in a row. We are pushing to exit this year to be cash flow positive with a projected three to five million in revenues and turning the core in 2017 to be profitable. There are very few companies that are on the bulletin board that are traded at where we are trading right now and have this strong pipeline, the strong assets, the strong revenues that we have. We are really undervalued in terms of what the company have versus what the market share is. So I tell the investors, it is really the right time to invest in Innovus and to be able to take advantage of the uplift that we're gonna see in the share price with the market cap and take advantage when we uplift to a higher exchange rate. This is a really good investment opportunity. I invested myself close to two and a half million dollars in the company from all the public filings that have been on there because I've been funding the company extensively. If I believe in this company and invest my own money, I say to the investors, if you see the management putting their money where their mouth is, I encourage every investor to come in to actually invest in the company and really profit from the upcoming potential uplift in, 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 in the company's market cap and stock price. Well, Basam, it is clearly undervalued right now down here at this price range. I mean, looking at the valuation. So, uh, it, you know, since the last time we spoke, a, a lot has happened, a lot of good, positive things, including acquisitions. And uh, we've been following the story from the beginning. We'll continue to follow it. Uh, we anticipate great things for Novus Pharmaceuticals. Thanks again. It was a pleasure as always. Uh, thanks for being on the show. Thank you, Mike. It's a pleasure to be actually at your show again. And uh, looking forward for another uh, interview time. Thank as you very we. much. Take care. Appreciate that. Take care. Bye-bye. We have been talking to Dr. Bassam Dimash. He's the president and CEO of Innovus Pharmaceuticals. Headquartered in San Diego, Innovus Pharma is an emerging leader in OTC and consumer products for men's and women's health and vitality. They trade on the OTCQB under ticker INNV, and you can learn more about them by visiting the company's website at innovuspharma.com. Thank you for watching CEO Live TV.